to, you know, uh, the, the things that we need to be aware of. We need to think, we have to think like a bank and how they trade. So then once we understand that, we don't get frustrated with the day-to-day -day or even the week-to-week -week results. What we're in this for is for the long term, the consistent gains over time. Are you going to have a losing week? Are you going to have a losing month? Yes, it's going to happen. I'm not never going to sugarcoat it. Anyone who comes in here thinking, oh, maybe I can make, you know, 2% a month, 3% a month, 4% a month guaranteed. It's not going to happen. It doesn't happen like that anyway. It doesn't happen like that. Because you've got to do what's best for the trade, not for your account. Yeah. So what I mean by that, and I'm not, I'm not going to go, I'm going to start going on, I'm going to start wrapping this up, but you have to do what's best for your trade rather than your account. And what I mean by that is this. Let's say, for example, you've taken 10 trades, yeah, 10 trades this month. And let's say, for example, you've had, you know, I don't know, two winners. Yeah. And let's say, for example, you've had six losers. And so it's coming up to the end of the month. And you've got the mindset that I need to be profitable this month because I've got this to pay for. I've got that to pay for. Da, 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 da. Right? Now you're in two open positions. Yeah. That are doing really well for you or are doing decent for you, I should say. They have the potential to do very, very well because you understand the fundamental analysis of this. But obviously, prices may be in that accumulation phase still. Yeah. So we could still be like doing, you know, going sideways or whatever it is. Right. It just hasn't, you know, broken out to the upside because the banks haven't filled their boots yet. But when they do, and if you're right about this, price should move, you know, maybe a thousand pips, let's just say. But we're somewhere around here. And the end of the month is in a, in a couple of days. And you're probably up on those positions a little bit. So you're maybe, you know, you're at maybe two to one or three to one in those positions. Yeah. Now, because you're in a bit of a drawdown, you've maybe one, two, lost six, and your account is maybe in the negative, maybe it's a negative 100 pounds. Yeah. And tomorrow is the end of the month, and you're in a bit of profit. Let's say, for example, in these positions, you might be up maybe, I don't know, 150 pounds. Yeah. So you could, if you close these trades, have at least a 50 pound profit. Now, most traders will say, well, yeah, do you know what? I'll do that because they are close positive for the month. That is absolute nonsense. Because you should be doing what's best for the trade, not what's best for your monthly account. Because the minute you start closing these trades and the potential, what happens? You've got a possible 10 to 1. The, the market doesn't care about, you know, um, end of the month trading results. It really doesn't. It doesn't have like a time limit. Time is just, you know, the only thing maybe I guess from a time perspective is maybe, you know, busy times of the year. So, for example, holidays and Christmases, right? But barring that, from a value perspective, if we don't know when... The accumulation phase is going to, you know, finish or happen or even pre-price is going to go in our direction. But why would we exit? It doesn't make any logical sense to exit a trade based off of looking at our account and having these monthly targets or weekly targets or daily targets. It makes absolutely no sense. You could have a news event that comes out on maybe, you know, the two days afterwards that is really positive, which is basically what the, what the market might be waiting for. It's been accumulating all that time. And then you've got the end of the month, you take profit. Two days later, you get a nice, you know, FOMC or you get a nice, um, you know, bank statement that is hawkish or dovish in your direction, which is what the market was waiting for. And then it goes in your direction. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, you know what? I'm out of this trade. How do I get back in? And then you're left FOMOing in, do you know what I mean? And taking terrible trades. It makes no, absolutely no sense to have targets. The only target you should have is process. That's it. Regardless of what the short-term, um, you know, results may be, because if you can get this as a, 
as a result of great process, the results will come. Has to. Like night follows day. It has to come. Unless the strategy is wrong. So the strategy doesn't work. Yeah, if the strategy doesn't work, pat yourself on the back still. Why should you pat yourself on the back? If you've had a losing month, but you followed the, the, the strategy to the T, yeah, why should you pat yourself on the back? More than just process, but be, be a bit more specific. Be a bit more specific. Discipline. Why should you pat yourself on the back? Discipline. You can put your mic on if you want. You can say it out loud if it's easier for you to uh, to say it. Discipline. This is what my mentor taught me. And it's true discipline. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's all of these things, right? So discipline. Oh, did Paul take, oh, my mic. Oh, sorry. Do you know what? No, no, no. Do you know what? I think my, uh, my, I had my, um, my Mac was, 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 uh, was uh, sound was 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 off. I didn't mute him at all. Paul, can you can you say it again? Just 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 so I can hear you. Discipline. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It was it was my fault. On my end, the um the mic was uh well my volume was 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 on mute. But yeah, it's all of these things. So it's discipline. It's process. So the point is this: is is that you are a trader. The 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 job of a trader, the job of any trader, is to follow a process. Yeah, when you if you if you if you're gonna go to any you know trade for any bank or whatever it is, yeah, financial institution, they're gonna give you a strategy to trade, right? They're gonna say this is the way we trade, and it's your job to follow this process. Doesn't matter because they their, their strategy is tried and tested, right? And they want you to trade this way. If you can't trade that way, and regardless of whether you make money or not, they can't take you on. I'm saying not gonna take you on, but it's difficult because. They're like, well, you can't follow instruction, right? We told you to trade this way because it's not about the short-term money. We're telling you A, B, C, D, and you're doing E, F, G, H. The job of a trader is to just trade the position, um, trade the strategy. So even if you lose that month, let's say, for example, you, you followed it to the T, but you have, a, you know, the strategy is, is, is terrible, right? It's a losing strategy. Pat yourself on the back because then all we have to do or all you have to do is plug yourself into a profitable strategy because the problem is either going to be the strategy or it's you it's either or there's there's, there's no if ands or buts about it and i know some people have heard this before but it's either the strategy or it's you now you don't know whether the strategy works if you don't follow it to the t right that's the reason why people you know do trading robots and algorithms and things like that the algorithm is the perfect trader because it doesn't care about emotions it just does, it follows the strategy to the T. And that's the level that you want to get to, is just following the strategy. Now, if, as soon as you start deviating, as soon as you start adding different indicators, as soon as you start, um, you know, not following the process, not taking the setups and taking poor setups and poor standard setups, you can't slag anyone else off but yourself for your results because you haven't followed the process. And what's worse is that when you don't follow the process and have a profitable month, because it's just reinforcing bad behavior. Yeah. So pat yourself on the back. The only thing you should be focused on every single day, every single week, every single month is, did I follow the process to the T? Did I take A1 setups or at least really, really, really good trades? Yes. No. How many didn't did I take? Did I do nine out of 10? Excellent. I've got to do better next month. Did I take one out of 10? Do you know what I mean? I'm not following the strategy. Yeah. I'm a terrible trader. doesn't matter what you, what results you got. You are a terrible trader if you cannot follow a process. And that right there is the key to trading. And regardless of whether you make, I guess, you know, profit with me or with somebody else, it's going to be the same thing. If you come to me and you're like, ah, well, do you know what? Leon's strategy doesn't work. First of all, the first thing I'm going to say to you is, all right, fine. But just show me your last, you know, 10, 15, 20 trades. Yeah. And then I will pick apart those trades. And I can guarantee you that you have not been following the process. You have not been following the fundamental process and you have not been following the, the technical process. I can guarantee you 99 uh, traders out of 100. 
yeah, would not have been following it. Matter of fact, 99, 999 out of a thousand would not have been following it. Yeah, because we tend to, as traders, and I know everyone in here and everyone who's going to be watching this has got their own variants and, you know, degrees and they're adding this and adding that. And every time you add things and take away things, you stray off the path. But the point I'm trying to make is this, is stick to the process. That's all you have to do. If you go in, whether you trade with me or trade with somebody else, if you go in to trade with someone else, yeah, you're going to have the same problems no matter where you go. Because if you cannot, if you cannot follow their process, my process, what's the point in buying, buying a strategy, right? What's the point in buying and paying for mentoring and paying for all this stuff, yeah? If you just can't follow the process, that's the simplest thing you got to do. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that in any other vocation, right? In any other industry. If you, if you went, if you went to, if you were a doctor, yeah, and the doctor said, "This is the way that you do brain surgery." Ah, eh, I think I'm going to like, you know, do my own thing, and I think I'm going to add this, and I'm going to add that, and take away this, and that. They look at you like, "What the hell?" I don't care if you did a successful flipping uh, brain surgery or heart surgery. Nah, you're not. You're not practicing in my in my in my uh, in my hospital. No, 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 no way. Because we follow a process. But yeah, in trading, we have this mindset that, oh, okay, yeah, I can do what I want. Do you know what I mean? I'm just going to take a bit of this and take a bit of that and take a bit of this and create some sort of Frankenstein, which is unproven. It hasn't got any results. Do you know what I mean? And it's a normal and natural thing to do because I did it. When I first started trading, it's just that's the normal impulse, right? You want to take a little bit from there, take a little bit from here, and then create what we want to create. It's just what we do. But the point is, is that that's not the job of a trader. And the whole point in me mentoring you and me, you know, being here rather than you just, you know, buying an online course and, you know, following an online course like many others is so you can pick my brains. I can give you direct feedback, you know what I mean, on your charts, on your process, on your fundamental analysis. I can get you there to where you want to be, but you have to use, you have to A, have the discipline and you have to, um, you know, be able to stick to the process. Every time you come outside the process, every time you don't post any charts or don't get any feedback or whatever it is, I have no idea what you're doing. You're just going to go further and further and further away from the process. You don't know where you're going. You're off into the wilderness trying to create your own path and you might make it right. You might make it out of the woods, but um, not too many do. Not too many do. So process over everything. Yeah, is the point I want to make. And sorry for the rant, by the way. I say sorry for the rant, but I hope the rant was uh didn't turn you off or switch you off. But um, that is really what this what this is all about. Anyways, let's go back to uh what we were talking about. Da, 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 da. I think I think I've covered pretty much everything. So in this bit, in the next bit, next maybe half hour, uh, twenty five minutes. I want to go over some chart setup. So anyone in the room after that talk <laughs> want to, you know, go over any charts or any setups or anything like that? <laughs> anything? Anyone got anything? And by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna operate uh, uh, Eurocad. Yeah, no worries. I'll do that now. Um, I'm gonna operate a, and I should operate this anyway. A closed mouth doesn't get fed policy. So what does that mean? What does that mean? as far as a closed mouth doesn't get fed. If you don't speak up, then I can't, I don't know, I can't feed you, right? You're not going to get fed. You're not going to get the nourishment, the nutriment, whatever it is. If you're going to sit there and be quiet and, you know, just be like, okay, I'm not going to post any charts. I'm not going to contribute. Then you're just not going to get fed. It's literally as simple as that. You're going to stay where you are unless you put yourself out there and remember this is a learning environment it's not about being right or wrong this is all about learning you're paying me to mentor you right so the point is is use my time pick my brain send me the questions if you don't send me any questions and you don't send me any charts or you you know i'm just going to assume that you're doing all right in it and it's a wasted really a wasted opportunity because i don't think you're really going to get this um this opportunity to kind of pick the, you know, the brains of most, most traders who provide, you know, any kind of online education. So if I was you, use it. A closed mouth doesn't get fed. So if you keep your mouth closed, 
and you're not getting the results, don't blame me. Uh, I'm I'm actually in that trade, by the way. That that uh, Lawrence uh, Cad Cad Swiss Cad Swiss Long. I'm in that. It was a stop hunt. I think I post. Did I, did I post that? Oh no, it was in yesterday's call. That call didn't. Um, that call didn't um, come out properly. By the way, so unfortunately, um, uh, we couldn't. I couldn't post it yesterday. But I'll show you the setup anyway. So got a few. So Euro CAD, right? Euro CAD. This Euro is just being very stubborn. Um, duh, 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 duh. Where am I? Euro CAD. <laughs> 